No, what an incredible night. I think um, not just for us as a football program. Obviously, it's, it, it means the world. It's taken us a long time to get down here because of the, just the energy and the momentum in that locker room, um, the respect I got for those guys and the way they continue to fight and battle, uh, but also for our, for our university, for our campus. I think that, to me, that's one of those big things when, when we came here. just wanted to see this place electric. And I, I've said it before that uh, you can see a lot about what's going on on a campus and energy on a campus when you see an event. And this was an event tonight. Uh, we did a, they did a great job. We did a great job at making this event a, a memorable one. Um, but I got to give a great shout out to, to, to that crowd, to the student section, um, for the energy they brought for us. Because it was an up and down battle now. This was by no means easy. I know we were up 11 points there with six minutes or four and a half minutes ago in the game. And, um, Never did I believe that it was over by any means. Uh, and to come down to a two inches or an inch that I thought we got two times before that, and I thought we got the time before that. We finally had to get it on the last time. But I guess there's no greater way to, to kind of seal the deal and to end this thing um, against a team that you know is, is the best in the league. They, they've been the best. Um, uh, and for us to do this, you know, the memory of what was like two years ago here when you know, some way, somehow, I had to throw in the towel because of the weather, but also because of the way the game was going uh, in, in some respects uh, for our team to continue to fight back and uh, be where they are right now, despite a lot of different things that have happened inside that locker room, uh, injury-wise. Uh, it's incredible to see. You talked about before you, or after UCLA how electric this place was. Was tonight even it, above different. and beyond that? It was different. It really was. And, um, you know, I, I, our guys loved it. I mean, it, it's... You know, this is what college football is all about, not just the win. I understand that, but, but the atmosphere, the excitement, uh, you know, to see that, uh, that place from, from the till 0 0 on the board. I mean, nobody left. And, uh, you know, I'm just happy that we could give them the show that we did, uh, obviously, turn out for, for the benefit for us. Um, but all in all, to, to, ha to have that kind of support is, goes a long way. They did a phenomenal job. Coach Freeman, uh, Coach Tenuta, Coach Mickens, Coach Wilt, Coach Mace. I mean, those guys, you know, had a different little little plan for for these guys, and you know, kind of had some some ideas throughout the entire summer, just about how we needed to do some things to give ourselves a better chance, and to not only be able to cover them, uh, create, take away some space, but also to get some pressure and. The way Coach Freeman kept the pressure coming all night, uh, there were times I was biting my tongue uh, a few times on again, again, again. But uh, he believed in those guys. He believed in what we were doing, uh, and he kept them aggressive. That three by three kind of setup was that one of the main things you guys were trying to do against them? Well, it was just—I mean, it's something we kind of had for there for a while. Uh, not just them. Just it, it's tough and it's difficult. We don't see a whole lot of this. Not just this offense, but the way they spread the guys out and, and the speed that they have out there and the shots that they'll take, uh, it, it makes it really difficult. And there's only a couple ways that you can try to defend them. Uh, you know, we changed it up a little bit tonight to try to get some more athletes on the field. And I, I think the, the greatest thing about what it is that we did tonight, we asked a lot of guys, D-line in particular, to be really unselfish. We weren't playing with the four guys out there the whole time. And those guys have been really, really good for us and, and pretty dominant. The Michael Pitts's, uh, Ethan Tucky, those guys rolling at that edge. And, and they weren't even in the starting lineup in some ways. Um, but you know what? They, they kept fighting when their role was called. And when they were called upon, they did a heck of a job. And I think that all in all, we might have played 27 guys on defense. Uh, and in the second half, it showed. You mentioned switching it up. But, you, know, you kind of held them off or something in the first half, but it seemed to figure them out in some ways in the second half. Was, was there anything different? No, really, I mean, you can't worry. And we told our guys before the game started and, and all week, you can't worry about yards. You can't worry about even time possession. You can't worry about uh, anything other than points. And you got to find ways to get stops. And sometimes that means in the red zone, you just got to really, really play well. Uh, if we can limit their big plays, we got an opportunity. And I think that 58 snaps defense had in the first half is might be a record. Um, but what we did is we eliminated big plays. And well, with the exception to giving him the ball, I think, on the seven-yard line, I think all in all that first half, you know, I think those guys did a phenomenal job and then they came in at halftime and you know, made some little adjustments here and there and continued to play the amount of players that we did, and I think it showed. You put a lot of trust in those two freshman corners. Something that paid off tonight <laughs> with, with Gardner taking one for six. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure it's exactly how he had it drawn up, but nonetheless, um, did a phenomenal job. And, and it wasn't just that play. Him, him in there on some deep balls where, you know, he's in perfect position and he makes a play on the football. And you know, that's as good a receiver group as, uh, as we're going to see. And I'm not saying that we aren't going to see some great ones, in, you know, in Houston and some, but as fast and as, as deep and as um, ability to take shots on you, it, there's definitely a little anxiety when you see a, a couple freshmen standing out there and, you know, how exactly will they do and will they panic? I think that's one of the things when the ball's in the air, uh, will they panic or will they be under control and kind of rely on their training? And, and they did a heck of a job. Do you, uh, do you call him sauce? I know he's fond of that nickname. He, he, may, he, may, he, may, get a, he may get a self, that self-proclaimed nickname may actually be a nickname. Well, that's not up to me. That's kind of how the seniors and let's see what uh, what they start to say about him on Sunday and, and uh, Tuesday at practice. If if they give him his due, or else they uh, keep him. We brought him up there in the locker room to say a few words, and we had to cut him off. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little worried when we started, but uh, nonetheless, he didn't he didn't uh, he didn't say anything once we cut him off. So I think he's uh, he's earned quite a bit of respect from those guys. It's huge. I mean, look, you forget about those things right off the bat when you know, you're really playing well in the first series, and you get a third and long, and they call a holding, and you know, then you get a then you get another holding, and you know, like, oh, this is all over again. Then we get a rough in the punter, you know, on a on a fourth and you know, like twelve, um, you know. But we look at each other and say, we said we're going to be aggressive. The only way you're going to knock off the best is to be aggressive. And whether it was trying to go after the punt, whether it was continue to play a lot of man coverage in the back end, or going forward on fourth and six inches, the only way you're going to beat the best is you know, to take those chances. You know Coach Freeman probably better than anybody. Is this kind of what you've come to expect knowing him as a coach to be able to pull up a performance? <laughs> yeah, I, and, and I, it was a challenge. You know, It was a challenge after last year a little bit. Um, it was a challenge after year one. Uh, but it, you, you can't do it by yourself. He did a phenomenal job. But I think the job that uh, that's really he has done a great job of, along with the other coaches, is getting those guys to believe and buy in and be unselfish. When all of a sudden you got a you know two the last two players of the game sitting on the bench to start the game, and might not have a, how much of a role they'll have um, because maybe we're not playing with four D linemen a bunch. To get those guys to believe and buy into those things, that that takes a lot of work. That takes a lot of trust and respect um, amongst that. Those guys in that locker room. Did you sense a different I think it. I think it has a lot to do not with what we were playing. It's not has nothing to do with a call. It, it has a lot to do with the ability to play. Probably twenty some guys on defense. You know, I mean, it, that's why those young freshmen were playing so much. You didn't even know when they were in there because they were just rolling. If a guy came out on the sideline, he took a deep ball, a freshman went in. You know, the safeties, we were rolling four safeties at a time, two nickels at a time. Uh, it's pretty easy to see when those D linemen sub in, but I think you don't quite catch as much as we were subbing. So I think in the long run, as much as they wear people out running those deep routes and on the backside when they're not running, saving their, conserving their energy, uh, we have a hard time playing like that defensively. It's really difficult. So you got to rely on a, a lot of a lot of depth, and uh, I think that's really what kind of got it going in the second half. Question, Justin: The fourth down call kind of reminiscent of the opener against UCLA last year. Was that in the back of your <laughs> No, no, I was thinking about nothing other than that. Should have had those two couple inches there. I thought on second down and on third down, uh, but there was never a doubt. There was never a doubt about what we were going to do. Um, and that's what you love. You know, you click over even the defense and say, hey, guys, we're going for this. Darn right we're going for this. You know, let's end this thing. Let's do it our way, our style. And uh, I believed in them and trusted them. There was maybe a little conversation about what we were going to run. But nonetheless, I think they called the right thing. <laughs> Thank you.